Good morning folks, this is Old Man Gib, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're going to have kind of a different episode. Um, I've had a tragedy in life, and I figured I'd, well, do some fishing here. We'd have a conversation about something that not a lot of folks want to talk about or discuss as it can be very painful frustrating and downright scary and that is the topic of suicide now here just recently um, a friend of mine that I had served with in the military chose to take their life and in their struggles in give in to depression and um, anxiety the unknown fear and I can say this because I myself am a suicide survivor in March of 2018 I attempted to take my own life and I thank God that I was unsuccessful um, that a permanent solution to a very temporary problem did not work for me now that cannot be said for everybody out there now if you look at the top of my channel you will find links for the veterans crisis line and also the national suicide hotline you can click on those they will take you to people that can help you also and the about section is information for both the Veterans Crisis Line and the National Suicide Hotline. And you can call them. If you are a veteran listening to this, you and you're not getting any help from your local veterans hospital or something like that, I can recommend two places. The Grand Junction Vet Veterans Center in Grand Junction, Colorado has an outstanding mental health department also the mental health department at the Prescott Arizona um, VA has outstanding doctors and therapists people that are willing to listen and help please do not think you're alone do not believe that there's no other options because there are now I still struggle with depression, with anxiety. I'm on medication I take daily. Um, it helps. Um, this channel has been helping me, even though it's not real big. All seven subscribers, I am extremely thankful for all of you. Because it gives me encouragement. Um, in the last couple months, I've actually been able to get out and go swimming. I've been pretty much a shut-in for years now. And I've been able to get out and start swimming to start um, I guess fellowshipping would be the correct word with other people. Um, I've recently joined the Christ a Christian church and was baptized. Now, that may not be for everybody. You may think that that doesn't help you. Personally, I believe it will. I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to try and convert anybody. But I am just trying to tell you there is help and that your problems are not permanent. So please, 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 if you are contemplating um, suicide, if you are um, hurting yourself, cutting drinking you know addiction is a nightmare I was I lived in the bottom of a bottle I was doing cocaine I was doing psychedelics um, a lot of marijuana now marijuana for me kept me in a very depressed state so I've had to I quit doing marijuana I quit the psychedelics I know some people say that microdosing um, psychedelic mushrooms can help with PTSD and trauma for me it did not it kept me in my mind like in a in a black void in a box that i couldn't escape 
um, so it was very detrimental. The cocaine was fine until I came down, and then I was even more depressed after coming down. And so, alcohol, all it did was make me angry, and I would go out and look for fights. Even if it was just my friends around me, we were going to fight. Um, these are all symptoms of self-harm. Um, cutting this individual that um, chose to take their life, um, we found out afterwards, was into cutting. He had scars all over his body from cutting himself, um, trying to escape the pain, thinking that more the physical pain would override the mental torment and the pain. It doesn't help, folks. Please, 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 I'm begging you, reach out to the hot, uh, hotline. Go. There's another organization out there. I've heard of it that it's just wonders. I have not checked out into it. It's called NAMI. Um, I will get the information and put it in the description of this video. Um, but please, do not believe you are alone and that your problems cannot be solved. That you have no hope. There is always hope. Every morning you wake up with breath in your body. That is a blessing, a miracle. Everything after that is just a bonus. Now what we choose to do with that is up to us um, some may think that oh I'm awake again the nightmare starts all over again that is a never-ending loop where you're trapped in your own mind you can get out of that you can escape that um, you can see better and glorious days it can get better you just have to reach out for help and please do not believe in any way shape or form that reaching out for help admitting that you need help makes you in any way weak it actually makes you stronger to admit that you need help there is no no way in any form that saying i need help is a sign of weakness it's actually a sign of strength what i have done is i have a uh, half dozen exceptionally awesome and wonderful people that when I'm feeling real down, real bad, I can send out a text to them and say, hey, I'm not doing good. I need help. And they're there. Even if it's a phone call, a text, they will reach out and say, hey, I've got your six. What is going on? And they will talk to me. If I'm stranded on the side of the road or something, they get help to me. Um, I'm a member of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. Um, a year ago, I was taking a trip and I lost my wallet and I had a massive anxiety attack. And I reached out and I had a brother and a sister from a chapter way down south of Albuquerque drive two and a half hours with a trailer to trailer my motorcycle and get me back to Flagstaff where I could meet up with another friend that got me home because I was having a massive anxiety attack over losing my wallet. So, you know, find folks that can help you. If you are a veteran, a combat veteran, or even if you were a peacetime veteran, there are communities, the Veterans of Foreign War, the VFW, the American Legion, the Combat Vet Veterans Motorcycle Association. There are people out there that care and will gratefully spend their time to come help you. If you are not a veteran and you are hurting and you are in grief, you can still reach out to folks. NAMI, the National Suicide Hotline. Go down to your local hospital, walk in the emergency room and tell them you need to see somebody in mental health that you need help. They will get you help. Do not be afraid of asking for help, folks. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Um, go to your local church. 
um, right off the top of my head, there's two assemblies that I can think of that can be online that can help you. Um, Athey Creek out of Portland, Oregon. Um, Door of Hope Southeast, also out of Portland, Oregon. Pastor Brett's staff is awesome. They actually have a counselor on staff. Um, Josh, Pastor Josh White and his group, they can get you help. Um, you are not alone. So please, please, please reach out. Don't think you're alone. We love you. You're loved in this world. You're needed in this world. And I hope that if anybody listens to this, it gets shared. Please share it. Please like the video. Um, comment. And share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Anybody that might be needing help. And know this, though I may never have met you. I love you. And you are most needed in this world. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. And I truly, truly hope that you find comfort and that you're blessed. And have a wonderful and awesome day. This is Old Man Gibb, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.